Good, good. I see our little muscular stimulation has paid off. This is gonna be more fun than I expected. Let's get this over with, Foster. With great pleasure. Keep your cool, were you? Closer before. Taylor, that you? Heading your way. Good to hear your voice. You're just in time for the fireworks show. I do believe we've witnessed the rise and fall of the Foster Empire. So, now what do we do? You know, I didn't think that far ahead. I suppose the Mafia will want to cut a deal for the paintings and diamond. We'll cash out, and all of you will live the life you've always wanted. Sound like a plan? Oh, enough with your plans, Taylor. I'm gonna plant myself in a seaside villa in Greece for a while. I'm off to a hackers conference. Anyone interested in joining? Uh, anyone? Guys? Uh, I didn't think so. What about you, Taylor? Me? I think I'll go search for a tropical island I can call my own. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost again. This game, I don't know if you guys ever heard of the game called uh, How to Survive. It's a downloadable game on uh, Xbox Live and I think PlayStation Network. But I believe those are the same people, or the same people that made that game, or the same people that made this game, or developed this game, or whatever. Uh, we're not watching all those. Um, I think the game's pretty good. It's uh it, it obviously has a lot of flaws with uh stuff but uh the AI I, I, I guess you could say the AI of the enemies is kind of what's the average, maybe a little below average. But uh <coughs> excuse me. I like it. It's <coughs> I really like my time playing it. Uh, it was kinda of frustrating in certain areas. Some areas you may need to use a walk through. I used to walk through uh, in some areas, not, not not too much, but I I used I used it enough, and uh, <coughs> I like the shooting. The shooting, uh, it's nothing really special as far as like the act of knowing it and gunfights, but have it but being in, in control of three different characters is kind of new because in a lot of games, you know, you'll have like a squad and they'll shoot with you. These guys won't shoot until you switch to them and pull out their gun. Other than that, they'll just keep uh, getting shot. But like, but like firefights are very neat because each character has their own window and you can put each character in certain positions. And so that's nice. But that that's also optional. So the shooting is only just creative 
or fun as fun as uh, as you wanted it to be. Uh, <coughs> what else? I never actually played a. I don't know what to call this. I guess it's you, it's a, it's like a shooter slash. It's like a stealth shooter because you can shoot, but there's always there's, there's always the option for stealth. <coughs> like you can always sneak up on somebody and knock them out. You could always use uh, the uh, sephoric gas, which you know knocks them out silently. So that's neat. <coughs> And it's the kind of stuff that I like. Like, uh, when I played Wolfenstein for PS2, Wolfenstein was neat as a stealth game, but it was also kind of weak as a stealth game. But it was, st it was still neat because it's like you go in one room, clear out a bunch of enemies s silently or, or whatever, and then, like, another room somewhere else, they don't hear it. So it's like the stealth is, like, sort of like in a section off it's like you can do stuff here but nobody across there will hear you then you can go to this room and do stuff that's kind of neat <laughs> now like the enemies in the hallways and stuff like that you know uh they'll see you but it's kind of neat how the how the stealth is sort of uh sectioned off and just you know like for certain rooms you know because you could sometimes shoot an enemy in the face or whatever or silently take them out but the enemy in the hallway or the enemy in two rooms over won't even hear you that's good and that's bad you know that, that, that's 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 good for certain games <clears throat> and bad for certain games so i like how there's always an option i liked how, how there was always how there was always an option for stealth i uh, i i thought the entire time that you only controlled you know those three characters I didn't realize that you'd be controlling more characters but yeah this game really surprised me like for the longest time I didn't even want to let's play it like <clears throat> if you look at the box it looks crazy generic even when I was when I saw it on Amazon I only picked it up because well I picked it up because I thought, I thought it was like a shooter or you know just something I'd be interested in but the, even though it looks very generic it's just you know like the box looks extremely drab and generic and <coughs> whatever else and for the longest time I didn't want to let's play the game because I didn't want to be confused I I didn't I thought I thought it would be like very confusing to, to like let's play but it's actually okay it, it, it wasn't that bad and what else is there? <coughs> I say this is, it's pretty good you know for a budget game it's pretty good it's pretty uh, has a, has a decent length also what she said <laughs> but uh how to how long to beat dot com has this game at i think four hours four hours long i don't know i think this i think this game is at least maybe six up uh, eight hours wow so yeah so yeah well well maybe they meant for like uh if you played it for like if you're playing it for like the second or third time it'll be four hours you know because you'll you know, you, if you already know the puzzles and and everything else, it won't take you as long. Uh, <coughs> the game has a bonus mode. This is basically just co-op, and the money that you find in the single-player levels lets you play. So you can't you can't play co-op on games where you don't have granted, you know, where you don't have uh, <coughs> any money, which is kind of stupid. I mean, the neat thing is you could play. This, you know, the, I guess this sort of serves as a uh, a um, level select mode as well because you can still play these levels. You just can't play them in co-op unless it has the granted <coughs> uh, thing right there. And uh, yeah, I really had a good time with this game. I, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I w thought I would. It's it, it can be incredibly frustrating sometimes. Well, that's okay. <clears throat> this game also supports the multi-tap, so you could actually play this game with four people, I believe. Three or four people. <laughs> but, uh... Hmm. The game's fun. One thing uh, that surprised me is when I went to uh, GameSpot and IGN, I think IGN or GameSpot, they gave it a 6.7, I think. 
I was I was expecting them to give it a I don't know four or five. <coughs> but anyways, the lip has spoken, and uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, today is what's today Sunday January twenty twenty eighth. January 29th I believe 28th or 29th 29th Sunday January 29th 4.03 p.m. <coughs> I'm going to follow this let's play in Laywood and I will start on my next let's play the same day today and that will either be Minority Report or Fugitive Hunter so until next time this is Inquisitor Thousand on Overlip saying see you later. Take care. Whatever else good. And uh Yep, that's about it.